picture. BYD um, sales came out yesterday suggesting they're really uh, going well. The China government now, as Sam was saying, looking at that space and looking to promote sales of vehicles in general. Tell us how mm -hmm. you're interpreting that. Sure. BYD hasn't been strong not just for one quarter or one month. In fact, if you look at the first quarter numbers, uh, it's, uh, it's a combination of two factors. One is you're continuing strong uh, so-called new energy auto vehicle sales in China. That's a triple digit, uh, triple digit number, uh, more than 100% growth every year. On top of that, BYD as a manufacturer is also gaining share this year in the Chinese auto market. So these two things combined contributed to very strong growth at BYD. But let's so bring this to a broader picture of, of what's going on in China right now. We need two things. Uh, one is the consumption, the other is production, and the new energy auto seem to fit into both themes. Uh, the, we mentioned earlier yeah. the reduction in the, in the tax and stuff, but it's really to stimulate the consumption of autos and particularly new autos, the new energy auto, electric vehicles. Without electric right. vehicles, China auto sales would be flat. So, I mean, it's interesting, given the fact that they're talking positive on all of this, and, and yet the EV sector in China is down quite heavily this morning, completely bucking the market. Yeah, of course, part of the reason that's been very strong in the last month or so. So if you look at the whether it's the EV space or the EV supply chain or the solar energy equipment space, I will group all them together as part of the new energy tech theme in China. Um, and they are still down year to date, anywhere from uh, 5 to 20 percent. Uh, but recently, they have a very strong rebound. In fact, if you look at the the rebound in the China Asia market that's led by these new energy tech uh, companies, including BYD and including Tianqi, you mentioned earlier that it's seeking financing in Hong Kong. That's also part of the uh, new energy auto supply chain. So, of course, uh, when you have such a strong rally for a sh such a short period of time, recovery, uh, you're bound to have some kind of adjustment in the near term. But lo uh, looking into the second half, we're still pretty bullish on this whole sector.